you've been wondering what's going on in the Fremont housing market, look no further. I analyze all the numbers so that you don't have to. Let's dive right in. I'm Eli with Analyze That. And this last month in Fremont, we saw a lot more listings hit the market. The average sales price went up, average days on market went down, and the rates continue to creep on up. So let me break it all down for you. Let's take a look at what sold this past month. In January, we had 58 homes sold, which puts us below the month of December. Average sold prices in December, it was 1.75 million, and now it went up by 120,000 to 1.871. Housing supply, we saw a huge increase, finally, from 0.6 to 1.6 months of supply, almost tripling. The price per square foot also had an almost 20% increase from 614 to 736. Keep in mind, the rates have increased and they will continue to do so. We've seen an increase from 3.37% to 3.45%, almost a full point. Now that we've talked about what's sold in the month of January, let's talk about what's still active as we're moving forward. In January, we had roughly 93 active homes on the market. And if you're still out there shopping right now, you'll have a choice from 27 starter homes, five move-up homes, and four luxury properties. Average days on market went from 15 days to 10, dropping by a third. And the list to sales ratio went from 1.1 to 1.13%. So you can expect the sales price to be about 10 to 13% now higher than the asking price. So now that we've discussed all the numbers, let's go to our prediction analyst in the field. We can see what's gonna happen next month. Hey, thanks so much, Eli. Absolutely, we're seeing rates go up. They've already gone a full point up since last month and rates have gone up 0.5% since November, 2021. So really, we're seeing all the buyers come out to the market and try to get the best bang for their buck out there, trying to get a good deal, trying to get it quicker. So what this brings me to is we're gonna have a lot more sales next month with the average price going up and the average days in market going down because so much demand out there in this market, it is crazy. Get prepared for another very active, very busy 2022. And that's really it. Back to you, Eli. Wow, thanks Eli. I always appreciate your professional opinion on what to expect out in the market. So what do you think? These are all the numbers. If you have any other questions about what's happening in the market or would like to know your home value, please feel free to reach out. And for more videos about Bay Area Living, please check out my website, my page, and subscribe below. This is Eli Bader, Analyze That.